We're going to be doing an inverting amplifier. Previously, we've done a non-inverting amplifier. We've done this circuit with the voltage divider, and we've also done the unity gain buffer. These are all in the playlist link below the like button where we have the breadboard and waveform for it. But now we are going to be looking at our inverting amplifier. So to achieve a negative voltage gain, the inverting amplifier can be used. For this op amp, the circuit voltage gain is given by the following. We need to design the circuit in our figure 3 to achieve a voltage gain of 3 plus minus 10%. Before constructing the circuit, we're going to use SPICE to verify the voltage gain from our V in, V out as expected, and construct the circuit and measure the same voltage gain. As always, my lab partner has done the SPICE calculations for us. We have it in our lab report. Um, he's also done the little hand calculation here. Um, here's our results for this, our results here and then a summary of what we have here. Now, he chose a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 3 kilo ohm resistor. However, I don't have a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 3 kilo ohm resistor. Instead, we are going to be using a approximate 6.96 kilo ohm resistor, and we're going to be using two 10 kilo ohm resistors. That way we can make a 20 kilo ohm resistor, because I don't have a 3 kilo ohm resistor or a 20 kilo ohm resistor. And so this is the circuit that we're going to be creating. Um, the reason why we need 20 kilo ohms with a 6.69 or 96 is because when we divide it, we get about 3. Now we're going to look at our breadboard. In the breadboard, we have the following circuit, and this is from the previous one. As always, uh, make sure the waveform gen, wave gen is off. That way we don't short circuit anything. I'm going to pull out these wires just so we have enough space to see what we're doing on our breadboard. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug these three connections because they're going to change slightly here. So we take these out and what we can first see is that for our inverting amplifier, we have from our V input that's positive, that is gonna go straight into ground. So we're gonna take our pin three and we are going to ground it. I'm just going to use this black wire right here and we're going to place it in here and then it's going to go into the negative rail because that is our grounded rail. So it's going to look like that. That's it for the positive. Now we need a node going from our uh, negative out and we are going to connect to that. So we know our negative is the second pin right there. And so what we can do is we can take a resistor or we can take a wire like this and we are going to put it from here into, and we'll just go right out here, into any free row or column. And so that is what that's going to look like. And now we need uh, R2. We need it to go to our voltage output. And we're going to use two 10 kilo ohm resistors for this. So I have my 10 kilo ohm resistor sheet here. I'm just going to pull out two of these, and then I'm going to plug them in. So they need to be in series since the resistances need to add together. Um, I'm going to bend them. They need to be in this column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this resistor, I'm going to put it in this column, and I'm going to feed it to this column that's close by here. So it's going to look like this. Now this is going to connect with this other resistor, this other 10 kilo ohm resistor that we have and it needs to be in the same column so that it's connected in series. So this one's gonna go in here. We can see that it's in the same column, but I'm gonna put it up here. And then it's gonna go to our voltage output. So it's gonna go like that into this pin, and this pin is pin six, and that is our voltage output right there, right next to our red wire, which is the V positive. Now from here, we have a resistor that's gonna go to our V input. And the resistor that we're going to be using is this one. And so we're going to take this resistor. It's going to go into here like this. And so that is going to be this resistor right here. So the current is going to flow um, in out of the negative right here. or And then it's going to flow in through these resistors into the V out. Uh, but that's not really how that works. We're really, we're going to have the V out flow this way into the negative feedback because we also have this V input, and this V input, this yellow wire coming from our analog discovery two 
is going to go into our resistor 1 here. And we need to plug it in, that way it's in the same row. Our blue wire we know is going to monitor, so it's going to go with the voltage output. This orange wire is also going to monitor, it's going to monitor the voltage input, so it's going to plug into that same column. And so it's going to look just like this. Um, these two are in the same column as this resistor here. This blue wire is in the same column as this one. And so that is our breadboard with all of the values inserted. Um, it looks like this resistor is in this column, even though it's from a certain angle, looks like it's in this one. Just double check the connections. And now from here, we're just gonna push these together, make sure it's okay. And we're gonna check the WaveGen software. So we can click in here, we're gonna click run, we're gonna click run all, and then we're gonna turn our master enable on. And so we're gonna get a waveform that looks like this. Now we know our voltage gain is three plus minus 10%. We use the following formula, R2 over R1, with a negative in front of it. Um, we've done this. And this one, we see that we have about three over one. That's gonna give us our voltage gain at three. And so that's kind of how I have it set up right here. It's slightly different from what we just did, uh, but just with the way the resistors are wired. And that's about it. So the, we have the same wave gen though, it's very similar. And that is how we would do this inverting amplifier. Next, we are going to look at the summing amplifier.